Hello, Victoria. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Facebook and Instagram. How are you doing? How are you doing? Sound text. Give me one second. All right. I'm doing wonderful. So sorry about that. <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. Um, I'm so excited because tomorrow is election day. And today, uh, we are actually going to talk about Latinos for Democracy and everything that this amazing coalition has done till this day. Remember, we have done work for two uh, since 2018, um, but this year has definitely been a highlight for all of our work. Um, just so you guys know, my name is Michelle Zuluaga. I'm the Civic Participation Manager for the Latino Community Fund of Georgia. And my name is Victoria Rivas, and I'm the Civic Engagement Coordinator for the Civic Engagement Coordinator. Like I said, we are going to be talking about the Democracy Campaign, which is a coalition for LCF and all the other organizations. So this is going to be a very, like, kind of like a like a throwback of everything we have done. We have done a lot, and like going back to see these numbers is kind of insane. It is very insane. And uh, just so you guys know, what we're going to share with you guys today is uh, just for the runoff campaign. Um, you know, for general elections, we did so much as well. But we're so excited to share with you guys the work that Latinos are doing here in Georgia. Um, and just so you guys know, you know, we're working hard, and we really hope that these numbers. And this outreach inspires you guys, but you guys go and vote if you have not yet tomorrow. So, you know, I do want to talk about Latinos for Democracy and who we are as a coalition. Latinos for Democracy is a coalition of Latino led organizations doing the OTV work or get out the vote work. Um, as you know, we, had the, we had the coalition and we give resources and training so that. Other organizations can do POTV work. Um, in this coalition, we have Tila, which they are from Dalton, or sorry, from Woodfield and from Dalton. Um, Unidos, right? They are the uh, Latino Unidos uh, Association. They are in Rockdale and Newton. Los Vecinos of Victor Harry, of course, is Victoria right here. <laughs> they are from DeKalb. And then also, we have our own team, our own in house to detail, LCF, Georgia Bus. And we mostly focus our outreach in health and Gwinnett this cycle. Um, and then we also have um, Gainesville Familias Unidas, and they just really went out this time and they did Clayton, uh, Fayette, they went, they did um, Hall County, they did such great work this time around, and we're so excited to have them on our coalition. Um, so I am so excited. You know, before I actually talk about everybody else's uh, accomplishments i do want to uh ask you victoria um you know you guys have been with the coalition since the beginning latinos for democracy since the beginning can you talk to us a little bit about your work yes so highway we did uh, we did uh, contact list literature drops for about a thousand doors and then we sent out a hundred thousand text messages um, during our text banking shifts just to encourage voters to um, go out and vote, registered voters to go out and vote. And you know, it was it was an amazing experience this time around, especially when we're doing the drops. Um, text banking, it's it's you know, we know that negative that we get positive feedback. Um, so I'm really used to it ever since the beginning. Um, but I mean, it's great to see that people are actually asking questions, texting back, like, hey, actually, I don't know where I can send in my absentee ballot, you know? And so it really helps you see perspective, you know? Um, people are actually becoming more civically engaged. I have some people testing me to see if, I, if I'm a real person. They're like, oh, send a period if you're real. I'm like, oh, I'm not a robot, you know? Like, I'm real. And they're like, oh, but I didn't expect it to be a real person. Like, okay, like, <laughs> For all of our viewers, when you guys get tagged, it's people like us texting you, reminding you, people like Victoria and all the volunteers over there, they're reminding you um, it is an actual human. Uh, they're just reminding you to go out and vote. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. 
Um, but, you know, you guys have been doing a lot and, you know, we definitely want to thank you and all of our coalition members uh, for all the work, the endless work that you guys have done um, thus far. I do want to give a shout out to Clila. They did also contact us, literature drops, over 700, um, Unidos and Rockdale and Newton. They did almost 50, they did 1,500 lit drops. Um, Danesville Familias Unidas, over 5,000, which is crazy. Oh, over 5,000, shout out to them. Vecinos of Buford Highway, you guys did 1,100 lit drops, which is amazing. And then in-house, LCS, which will be 2,500, which is a shout out for our educator team. You guys, we all did this together. Um, and then for, uh, for a total of 11,779 lit drops, these are people out in the streets putting down lit drops, putting flyers in the woods, making sure that people get that information. So we're super excited. Um, Unidos uh, Familia, sorry, uh, Unidos from Rockdale. Uh, they did 200,000 tags. You guys did 100,000 tags over there at Vicino the Buford Highway, which is amazing, guys. It takes a lot of work to send those texts, respond, make sure that all the voters get the information they need. And collaboratively, we actually uh, texted 512,011 voters in the state of Georgia, just for the runoff. So, that is happy when the text is sent out, and we are so happy uh, to have just such an amazing coalition doing the work, such as Vecino and all of our members all throughout the state. And we are endlessly thankful to think that, you know, this started back in 2018, and look how much we have grown, and we're so happy to be the leaders in getting Latinos out to vote and being civically engaged. I, it's honestly, it's crazy once you add all those numbers um, together because we were, we were working, well, we were like every week, every week, every week. and I know other other organizations were doing the same. You know, we were really putting in the work. I remember seeing posts, everyone's out here in the morning, you know, and also big shout out to the volunteers that come out and work out, work with us because it's not easy to wake up at nine in the morning to do some literature drops, you know? <laughs> On a weekend, <laughs> on, a, on a Saturday or on a Sunday. Um, those are the days we So, you know, it, honestly, I'm really grateful to see that, you know, people are motivated to help and get up and encourage their community, you know, to get out and vote. And uh, when we're doing literature drops, I mean, we got all kinds of feedback, even though it was contactless. Um, you would get a couple of people. It's like, hey, what are you guys? What are you guys passing now? What are you guys doing here? You know, we would have our orange shirts or our, our blue vecino shirts. So they'd be like, they would see a little group like doing um, literature jobs, and they'll be curious, like, what are you guys doing? You know, it was really interesting when I would get um people that would stop me. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I got a lot of great feedback. They were really grateful that people are out here doing this type of work and encouraging people that look like me, that look like, you know, that are trying to encourage people that usually don't get that type of service in their community. So exactly and you know what i want to highlight something that you just said victoria people that look and are like us right latinos people who are brown white afro latino everything that how diverse our culture is and the fact that people from our background are out there are working hard so that our you know um our community will go out and vote that is so important and i'm just so happy to see and be a part of that chain. If you guys, anybody uh, that is look that is watching, um, if you ever want to be involved, please don't be shy. If you live in DeKalb County, you can volunteer with those listeners of Buford Highway. Who else? You can go to their website. Uh, what is y'all's website, uh, Victoria? Um, it is Vecin Here, let me see. Vecinosbh.org. Awesome. And then if you guys want to volunteer with us, you're more than welcome to go to lcsgeorgia.org where you can get more information on how to volunteer. Just so you guys know, the work does not stop here. Legislative session starts next week and we have to make sure that those leg the legislators are looking out for the Latino community and they're not coming out with legislation that ultimately impacts our community. So the work does not stop here. And then you know, there's redistricting, which we want and we need to make sure that our maps really represent us so that we don't get gerrymandered, so that we make sure that 
the elections for the next 10 years will represent the community. So you guys, the work does not end here. Um, Latinos for Democracy, we are still going to be present day in and day out for you know a lot more time to come. Um, Victoria, I know that tomorrow is election day. Can you talk to us a little bit about making a plan, making sure that our viewers have a plan to vote? Yes, of course. So tomorrow is a big day, guys. Um, so just for starters, make sure registration status is active and you can do this by going on my voter page. Um, research your candidates. Uh, I like to stress this just because you don't want to go and see your ballot and be like, who is this other person? You know, like just you want to know who you're voting for. You want to know what they're trying to do for you. Um, so research your candidates. Um, have your ID ready when you go vote. Make sure you take it. You need your ID in order to vote. Also, other stuff like your mask. Remember to social distance, take a book, headphones, water bottles. Um, the lines might be long, so be prepared to wait, especially since it is election day. Um, so be prepared to wait, but whatever you do, do not leave the line. Remember, you have the right to vote, and if you get in line before 7 p.m. and they tell you to vote, just, you can also report that um, at the number 188 Um So if you have any concerns regarding your experience at the polls, just make sure to report that, and I'll put that in the comments as well um, so you guys can have the number ready for you. Yeah, it's so important that everybody has a hotline just in case they come across anything a bit fishy at the poll. You guys, there are people on the phone waiting for you to call them in case you have any issues. Um, so for sure. And Victoria, can you talk to us a little bit about like like another you know, maybe a couple other things that they may have may have to have in mind or voters may have to have in mind if they're stuck in a line or what they need to take. Yeah, um, what? Yeah, for yeah. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, I mean, if you guys are stuck in line, and I mean, honestly, just do not get discouraged. Make sure you take your mask. Make sure you take. I know some people take some chairs just in case they're ready. Um, just in case. They're ready. Yeah, make sure to charge your phone. Take some headphones. Listen to podcasts. Have a playlist ready for this election. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. some water, it might be cold, it might be raining, so just make sure you have all of those, um, sweater, umbrella, just make sure you're prepared to wait in line, um, and to wait outside. Um, so just please, 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 I cannot stress this enough, do not get discouraged um, once you are in line. Um, just stay in line, make sure you voice your voice, so... For sure. And I know that um, in case you guys end up being in line at the time that we close, so by 7 p.m., if you are still in line and you still have the right to vote, please do not leave the line. Um, you also have the right to an interpreter uh, for those. Maybe if you have a family member or friend that doesn't speak English, however, they are eligible to vote and they are registered, you can go with them and help them. You can translate for them. Do not influence their vote. However, you can interpret for your friends or family. We will be doing election protection, election protection on LTS Georgia. We collaborated with Kaleo and we do election protection. We will be in Gwinnett Hall County, uh, DeKalb County, and we will also be in, um, sorry, Cobb, Crab uh, Hall, and Gwinnett County. Um, in case you guys see, you guys will be seeing these t-shirts, volunteers with these t-shirts, and, and you can approach us and we can help you if you need anybody to translate, interpret for you, or simply help you with uh, anything regarding to voting. So, you know, just make sure, you know, you have an interpreter, you have the right to a provisional ballot, if you forgot your ID, if you forgot anything, if you cannot prove eligibility at the time that you are at the polling location, you have the right to a provisional ballot, and you have two days to get your ballot. So make sure you guys know and have all those things in mind. Also, one last thing, you guys need to know your polling location. When, on election day, everybody is designated a polling location. If you go to the wrong polling location, they will tell you you are not registered to vote. If this happens, go ahead and ask for a provisional ballot if you do not have time to go to your correct polling location. If you do have time, please go to your correct polling location. You can check your polling location at LC, or sorry, at bit.ly uh, forward slash LCS polls, or just go to the My Voter page website and you can find it there. 
Um, so, you know, we, again, we are just so excited about everything that Latino for Democracy has accomplished so far. Victoria, we are endlessly grateful for the work that you, Los Vecinos, have for how they have done, not only during these general elections, sorry, during these runoff elections, but also during the general elections, guys, uh, you know, combined with both campaigns during the general and the runoffs, we have tested over a million Georgians, we have sent out over a million tags. Yes. It's, insane. So it's, it's insane. And we're just so happy to see that, you know, the numbers reflect that out, outreach, you know. Oh, more than three million Georgians have gone out to vote during these runoff elections, which is which is common for runoff elections. Yeah, um, people usually, those, those numbers are usually for general elections. So it really is just to show what Latinos for Democracy will, programs like Latinos for Democracy have been made, making this impact, you know? So honestly, thank you also to LCF because without you guys, the work that Latinos does cannot be possible. Thank you to our volunteers. Um, it has just been amazing to see the outcome, the results. It's really uh, rewarding and eye-opening, you know, because Civic engagement doesn't just affect people who are into politics or anything. It affects everybody. Um, so I'm really happy that we have even things like, you know, the civics chat to help teach people about civic engagement, how they can become civically engaged because this does affect everyone. So thank you to the people for democracy. I honestly be all grateful. I'm really happy that we get to do this type of work in these type of communities and really show them like, you know, we're out here, we have a voice and, you know, use it. And we're not going anywhere, all right? So, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Civic Chat Remember. Uh, we do have the legislative session. We will be having Civic Chat in the future, but we will be taking a break after these elections. If you need more information, you can go to latinosfordemocracy.net. Again, that is latinosfordemocracy.net if you want to volunteer or get more information. Remember yes. to vote tomorrow. And we are super excited. Happy Election Day Eve, y'all. Happy Election Day, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Bye.